tell you know. tell me about this. The there are times when this is the only way you can catch them. That's right. There are. Yeah. It, it, what tell what are those times? Um, what, what time of year? What conditions? I think it's when it gets super super cold. Um, right. You know when you can go out and catch a few maybe on a jerk bait and a few on a crank bait, but. You know, when you can take that thing and wind it like over some brush or grass or and keep it super, super slow, you're going to get, you know, five to one bites on it. And, um, you know, that, and schooling fish now, I mean, there's a ton of guys that throw them for schooling fish out on ledges. I mean, there's, there's a ton of different scenarios. But, yeah, when it comes down to – I wish I had one this week. I mean, we, <laughs> we probably would have crushed them. Usually when that water temp's about 46 and they don't want to move much, they'll come eat that thing. Now, you mentioned some baits. Tell me about your your number one trailers. Like, I, there's there's boot tails. Yeah. I've seen guys use grubs. Uh, I've seen all kinds of trailers. What, what do you recommend? Yeah, definitely. I mean, for me, it's it's a Berkeley Power Swimmer. Um, now that's a new bait. Um, and it used to be a Kytec. I mean, I'll be honest, yes. but um, especially on an A rig, that Power Swimmer holds up a lot better. Um, you know, we got screw in heads, and I can catch twice the amount of fish I can on a power swimmer on the from a Kytec but um do you have those heads here by any chance I did not bring them okay heads. yeah they're <laughs> I mean, we, got them, we got them we got them a little lots, excited three right? yeah. five I, well, the main, we'll, we'll make sure you're set up I started right. talking about the Chesapeake and you yeah. see how he yeah. got yeah. all excited there about I, I, I was like the, the main wheels re- are turning yes yeah. yeah. <laughs> the main reason is the rule is any anything that goes into the boat stays, stays in, in the boat, boat. Yeah. So. <laughs> I got plenty for you <laughs> I appreciate that yeah so we so you're you're using like what about size like that's huge because when i started throwing it i'm like i'm i'm like being like i'm gonna be paul elias and i'm gonna throw nah, like yeah, these you, giant swim baits you yeah. don't you really don't need that especially in the winter mm-hmm. you know when they're feeding on that smaller bait yeah i like to keep it to a 2.8 because so, so i can control where i'm casting it the depth i'm fishing the rig we fish it over brush a lot so even on a nine arm you know i can count it down and get it over top of brush and stuff like that and um so most of the time it's a 2.8 or a three inch swim bait for me um on the on the bigger ones i won't go any smaller than like a 3.8 normally um just because i mean you're already going for a big profile with eight blades on there so right. I, I mean but i've gone up to a six inch swim bait on that thing so yeah what, what's the line size you're using the majority of the time 20 pound fluorocarbon floral okay gotcha yeah. Sometimes yeah, you, 25, you, but you choose fluorocarbon. I do, yeah. And not braid. Why, no. why, why choose fluorocarbon? I like the control of fluorocarbon. Um, I like the sink rate of it and stuff mm. like that. And I mean, it's for me, it's more manageable. I'm I'm way better at casting fluorocarbon than I am braid. Because if I if I you know if I heave that thing out there, like if I'm trying to make a bomb cast and it mm. catches in the braid. Nothing frustrates me more, and oh. that's with that's with any bait. That's not yeah. A, yeah, that's not with the, just the A rig. Yeah, you know, that's with any bait. So, but no, I'd rather have four cards. It's Mike Iaconelli. This is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV: you get the top instructors. You will learn things at Bash U that you will learn nowhere else. We take the mystery and the myths out of bass fishing. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. At Bass U TV, shoes are optional. And I like turtles. And that's why you want to check out Bass U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bass U TV. 